Hello and aloha. My name is Ovi and today I am gonna show you some of the important things before using the Pattern Keeper app. Last time I showed you how to install Pattern Keeper app. Today we will make a quick review of its functions before using it in cross stitching. In the upper right corner click on those three little dots and the open PDF command will show up. Pressing it it will take you to your already imported PDFs. Remember that we use PDF files containing our cross-stitching charts. Momentarily, I haven't imported any PDF chart, so my storage is empty. From the same screen, in the upper right corner, we have the Buy button. Pressing this button, a message will show telling us after buying the app, we will not receive any new functions, since we already use the app to its full capacity during the trial period. We can click buy and a form will appear so the purchase will be made via Google Play. I had to introduce my visa and in no time I had a license for this app. Restore purchase will be used if you already bought a license but you change your smartphone, your tablet or even your email. Clicking help will show us the possibilities to receive help by reading the frequent asked questions and tutorials from the help pages, click on that, or join the Pattern Keepers Facebook group to interact with Pattern Keepers users and developer or even send a private message by clicking this thing. Pressing the little eye in a circle will show you the version you use. This is important when you encounter a bug or an error and the developer needs to know what version you use. The last and the most important button is this little green plus button. Pressing it will take you to the importing process which we'll be doing in the next video. Thank you for joining with me today and please like and subscribe to my channel in order to be notified about the new upcoming tutorials from the cross-teaching world.